Hi darlings, welcome to today's video. I wasn't too sure how to film this, um, but I thought I'm just going to pop my camera on a tripod and lie all my shoes all around me. Yes, today's video is going to be my shoe collection. It's something that I have never ever done before because it's quite a daunting task. Um, took me quite a long time to get everything out of my wardrobes. I pull a few things down from the loft as well. I am sure that this is not everything. There are probably pairs that have escaped my searching dotted throughout the house, but I've done my very best to get all of my shoes all around me. And darlings, I'm afraid I couldn't even fit them all in the screen. So I'm gonna do my best to move around to show you my shoe collection. As much as possible, the shoes that are still available Available, still being sold I will leave them linked down below that'll probably be the slightly more designer and premium ones um, but I will try and find some similar ones to others as well I was also thinking um, about doing a jewelry collection video so please let me know in the comments if that is something that you would like to see as well and if there are any other collection videos you would like to see from me then let me know because I'm filming a new video every single day, so your video ideas are always incredibly welcome. I think this video will show you a lot about my personal style in the colours that I go for, not that that is going to be groundbreaking in any respect, but also my preferences when it comes to style versus comfort and trend-led versus more classic. I think we all probably know the answers to those questions. I don't really have any particular order in mind that I'm going to do this. So um, I guess I'm just gonna pluck out a few of my favorite pairs to begin with and we'll see how far we get. Oh my God, <sighs> let's do this. So starting over on this side, I'm gonna try and start with the more seasonal shoes, ones which you guys might like to wear for spring and summer. So my Chloe Mules, I've actually got two pairs of these. I've got them in pink and in brown. I did recently also buy them in green, but I decided that three was just a little bit too many, so I ended up returning them. The reason why I invested in a second pair of these shoes is because I got so much wear out of the brown ones, I'm almost embarrassed to show you because they are very, very well worn indeed. But because they're just slip on, they're really easy to wear and I find them very easy to style as well. They tend to go with most of my outfits, no doubt if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen me styling these in so many different ways, including long summer dresses, dresses, um, more casual outfits like jeans. They really are very versatile and a nice way of adding a designer touch to an outfit and very good quality as well. The only thing that I have done is slightly scuff the end here, which is a bit of a shame, but I absolutely love these and never say never to investing in a third pair, but two makes me very happy right now. Sticking with open toe mules, I'm a big fan of this style of shoe. I do find them very easy to style. You know, sometimes you have an outfit and you're not quite sure what pair of shoes to wear with it. I find that open toe mules almost Mules of any kind really work, and I do love mules with a slight heel to them as well. This pair is from LK Bennett, um, brown leather obviously, and then this pair is a grey suede leather pair from Reese, both of which I wear a lot, I would say mostly during like the end of summer as we're moving into autumn because of the colours of these. This particular style of shoe, I do actually have three pairs. I've got the Valentino Rockstud sandals um, in this brown shade, in white unsurprisingly, and also this is my very first pair in this kind of pewter gold shade. This is my most worn pair of summer sandals. They're in pretty, I mean, not bad condition. The sole is worn away quite a lot, but you can't really see that when I'm wearing them. So I'm gonna hold up the brown pair because they are in the best condition. These are so unbelievably comfortable because of all the straps, they just never leave your foot. So I can literally, I could, I would say I'd be confident to run 10K in these sandals. They are seriously comfortable. And I think because of the rock studs, they really do make an outfit instantly look so much more luxurious and I just absolutely adore them. I think for designer shoes they're a pretty good price point but when it comes to price per wear I have absolutely smashed it with these ones. I'm mostly showing you um, the duplicates at the beginning because I'm trying to show you my favourites. This next pair of shoes, um, these are from Nicholas Kirkwood. They are definitely something which you should add to your shop tagger because they always come back and very frequently on sale. I would say that I get the most most use out of the white pair, especially when it comes to springtime. With this dress that I'm wearing now, they would look absolutely gorgeous. 
um, but last spring I was wearing them with like midi skirts and things like that. I love a mule as you will soon see from this video but these just have this beautiful additional detail of the pearl under the heel and as you can see this beautiful sweeping shape which is really effective when you're wearing them. And then the exact same again but in grey and these have got a grey pearl under the heel. I've not worn these as much but I wear the white ones and love them so much that I wasn't too afraid to invest in a second pair. I think this style of shoe is really feminine. I love a slightly pointed toe and the colour of these is absolutely gorgeous. These are from Charles and Keith. I really like the height of the heel as well. I do find that my feet are slightly below a size 36. I'm probably a 35.5 um, whereas most of these shoes are a 36. So this style does actually um, fall off my foot quite a lot. So if you've got any tips on how to keep them on your feet, please let me know. But they are so pretty. If I have friends over to the house, um, or I know I'm not going to be doing much walking at all, then I'll reach for these. And similarly, with the beautiful, fairly new to my collection shoes from Dune, I believe these are called the Croft, currently sold out, but I will um, leave them linked down below as well in case you want to keep an eye on them. This beautiful tweedy material really reminds me of Chanel. I think they look very, very designer inspired, especially with the contrast toe cuff. But again, they do slip off my feet a little bit, so I tend to wear them um, when I'm not going to be moving around too much. There is a style of shoe which I have one, two, three, for at least four <laughs> versions of it in my wardrobe. It all started off with this pair, which I am embarrassed to show you because they are so battered and so well loved. They are my Nicholas Kirkwood, I call them my Aladdin sandals. This pair, sadly, um, got attacked by my little baby Dickens when he was just a teething baby boy and then I also wore these on our trip to Positano maybe three years ago and it was a year's worth of rain in one day. The whole place was completely flooded. We did not expect it, so I was wearing these and I had to wade through water in them, um, hence why the shape of them has gone absolutely crazy. So they're very, very battered indeed, but boy oh boy, they are probably my most worn shoes. So I did buy the exact same pair again and I wear these so much. They are usually my flying shoes when we're traveling, obviously because they're flat and you can just slip them on and off. And metallic should not be underestimated as a neutral. It really does does go with everything and it's an instant way again of making our outfit look a little bit more luxurious with a touch a touch of gold. So because I love them so much I also have this pair of shoes in lilac and in this beautiful light pink shade. I think if I saw them in like a creamy tone I would probably buy those as well because they really are just so so comfortable, so easy to slip on. And because of the pointed toe I think they are very leg elongating as well. That's a really good tip actually. If you do want to make your legs look longer go for a pointed toe because it just gives you illusion of a longer leg. So Nicholas Kirkwood, obviously the brand of the shoes that I just showed you, the brand of these beautiful shoes and also the brand of these next ones is probably the designer brand that I go to, ooh that and um, Valentino. I wonder what I have more of. Probably Nicholas Kirkwood actually. Um, I just think they are absolutely gorgeous. This is my least worn pair of Nicholas Kirkwood because they do actually fall off my feet because as I said me being a silly half size. Having said that these are 35. Hmm. I probably should wear these around the house more to get them more um, used to my feet or my feet more used to the shoes. As you can see they have the most spectacular pearl detail in the heel and I am such a stickler for beautiful subtle details. I just Oh, it makes me feel, it makes you feel so special when you're wearing them and <laughs> there is a funny story attached to these. In fact, if you know the funny story, pop it down in the comments because you will be probably one of the most OG subscribers and have one of the best memories I've ever known. If no one writes the funny story in the comments within the next week I will mention it in a vlog because it really is hilarious and it's probably my most embarrassing moment of all time. Um, a little hint, it was when I wore these to fashion week so yeah let me know if you know the story because it's mortifying. We are not done with mules just yet. This beautiful pair from Pretty Ballerinas, they actually reminded me of the Nicholas Cut Kirkwood ones, slightly more subtle in design. Um, I'm actually yet to wear these out of the house, I only got these quite recently, but we've got quite a lot of wooden floors in our house, so I should probably start to wear these indoors as opposed to slippers sometimes when I want to look a little bit smarter, but also, again, like the others, just great for running errands, nipping out the house, but still looking really beautiful and polished. My jazziest pair of mules are, is this pair from Jimmy Choo, again, I, oh, actually I have worn these out of the house, but I think that was just for a photo shoot. 
Charlie and I host a lot of dinner parties and things like that and often I just want to be wearing flats especially if it is in the comfort of our own home so I thought it'd be nice to have a really jazzy pair of flat shoes. To be honest I purchased this pair because I just wanted to have a pair of Todd's shoes because I heard so many people raving about the quality and I wanted to try it out for myself and I have to say these are incredibly comfortable um, but I do think the Nicholas Kirkwoods are more flattering because they've got a pointed toe whereas these are rounded but again these are fantastic for traveling I've worn these for long car journeys um, long train journeys and plane journeys and things like that all right so I don't want to make any promises but I think this might be my last pair of mules or two pairs these are my Gucci mules as you can tell so this pair has a very special memory attached because this was actually the first thing that I was ever gifted from Netta Porter which I know is such a surreal and amazing thing that I will never take for granted a real career highlight oh my god you can't even imagine how happy I was when I received that email saying they wanted to work with me so I'll always have amazing memories attached to these I don't wear that much leopard print but I have to say if I am wearing a really simple outfit like black leggings and a black jumper literally to run to the supermarket or something I pop these on and instantly I feel so much more fabulous whereas if I'm wearing a slightly more girly and more me outfit again I usually just wear these around the house to be honest which seems like such a shame but during the warmer months if we are going to a picnic or something like that then I think these are really lovely I just adore the floral pattern and these were actually inspired by um, my style icon Julia Engel from the Galmi's Glam blog she had a pair like that but I think blue whereas mine are pink um, and I'll be styling mine how she styles hers. I actually think we're doing pretty well here, darlings. We're about a third of the way through. So <laughs> this is a really funny pair of shoes. Um, they are my final pair of flat shoes. I don't think I have that many flat shoes compared to heels, so there's a lot to come. These are just the most fun pair of shoes. These are definitely gonna be Marmite. So many people are gonna be like, Josie, what the heck? These are from Simone Rocha. I got these on the Outnet, which is a great place if you want, if you love something but you're not quite prepared to pay the full designer price that was definitely the scenario with these so they're like slides and I actually think slides are really unflattering really gross um, but I cannot deny they're bloody comfortable so when I saw these I was like yeah that's a really fun way of me actually having some slides in my shoe collection so as you can see they're fluffy they've got pearls and then they've got a really lovely padded sole so I wear these a lot around the house haven't actually worn them out the house yet I wonder what kind of reaction I would get <laughs> but I just think they're so fun a whole other shoe category has to be my heeled mules and I just heeled mules are so versatile I have quite a few if you thought I had a lot of flat mules then prepare so this was probably my first introduction into the world of heeled mules and this I think is my most worn pair of shoes in my entire collection I always regret not buying two pairs of these because as you might be able to tell they have been resold at least once in autumn and winter especially when you're starting to want to wear closed toe shoes but you're not quite ready for a full-on boot or anything these just go with so many outfits and they are so comfortable. In fact, I have been striving to find similar things to this to add to my collection for the past couple of years. So if you ever see anything similar, please let me know. Oh, these are from Reese, um, but I think I've had these since before I even worked there. So I've probably had these for a good six or seven years. Probably the most similar pair of shoes that I have in my collection that I do wear an awful lot as well is this pair from Tory Burch. I have a feeling I might also have got these on the Owlnet. So very similar in design, chunky block heel which makes them super wearable, pointed toe which is very flattering and then they've just got that little bit of um, detail, that Tory Burch tee here. So naturally when I see a high street brand that I love doing at Mules, I get very excited. So I actually have three pairs to show you from Topshop. Firstly, these are my most unusual colour of Mules. They're kind of like a grey, um, grey green shade, a very little kitten heel. And then they've got this metal detail on the toe here. By the way, major top tip any suede shoes you definitely want to spray them with liquid proof it's the best thing ever I'll leave it linked at the very top of the links in the description box liquid proof is an absolute essential when it comes to suede shoes it stops them from getting marked especially damage from water second pair of mules from Topshop these are the softest leather they are really so so soft so comfortable a slightly strange square toe which gives them a little bit of a 90s feel and then quite an unusual 
little heel shape, not sure how well you can see it, but they're really lovely as well. And then probably my favourite pair of mules from Topshop, these are actually quite heavy. These are the cream ones, slightly more rounded almond toe, small chunky block heel, but because of the neutral colour and the easy to wear design, they are super versatile. Okay, open toe mules. Gosh, we are going around in circles. How many times have I said the word mules in this video? Starting off again with Topshop. I got these maybe in February this year. Again, a neutral shade, square toe because we are all about the 90s trend this year and a great height of heel. This is probably the heel height that I'm most comfortable wearing for like all day long. Maybe actually the Valentino sandal heel, a little bit chunkier. Open toe does mean you have to have a decent pedi of course, but I still find myself reaching for these a lot because they just look great with dresses and things like that. I definitely don't need both of these pairs, but I also have something very similar from And Other Stories. Once again, we've got the square toe for the 90s trend. Um, these are just a little bit more kind of simple. They have a bit of a Bottega vibe to them. I will leave the best Bottega dupes linked down below. I think they're misguided. I do think this style of shoe really has the power to elevate an outfit and make it look really on trend right now. Oh, that glorious sunshine. And then we also have this lovely pair from Dune. As you can see, they are quite um, worn in the toe section, but again, when you're wearing them, you can't see that, so it really doesn't bother me. They've got this crisscross pattern, which again is very Bottega-esque. I wore these a lot when we were in the Maldives last month. Goodness me, that feels like a year ago. And these do have a little um, heel again, which is a very comfortable height for wearing for long periods of time. One of my newer pairs of shoes, these, ooh, I've just realized there must be another suitcase of summer shoes in the loft because I don't have my last year version of these down here. Oh my goodness, I think most of my summer sandals are in a different suitcase. Gosh, I'm gonna have to do a summer update version of this video because goodness knows where they are. But these are my newest Chloe sandals. They have got the flip-flop kind of um, fastening to them. I've actually not worn these out of the house yet. As you can see, Chloe written across the band there. The flat sandal version that I have from last year took me a while to warm up to those because originally they were quite uncomfortable. Um, but then once I'd worn them in, I just absolutely adored them. And these seem instantly more comfortable and obviously more secure with the straps. So I think I'll get a lot of use out of these this summer if we're allowed out the house. Square toe strappy sandals are very 90s and so very on trend at the moment. This is a pair that's very new to my collection from Charles and Keith. They've got quite chunky straps, which I think really adds to the kind of 90s vibe. And then you've got this toe separator here, which just kind of stops your foot from wiggle wiggling around so much. They have got a very flat heel. It's quite hard to show you but it looks really effective when you're wearing it. And then this is actually elasticated, which does keep your feet in place very well indeed. I did get a similar pair from Topshop last year. These are a little bit more um, thin when it comes to the straps. This was a style of shoe, was it the Row? There was a designer that did a pair like this last year and they were so flattering um and then all the high street stores did them and i was like oh my god i'm definitely going to the high street for this style of shoe because i could not tell the difference between these and the designer ones the style looks really lovely with just dainty summer dresses and i wore them quite a lot to weddings last summer as well then i also got them in burgundy again very thin little strappy sandals also from Topshop. so we're moving toward slightly smarter shoes now this beautiful pair from tory birch is also quite new to my collection from the outnet I love the contrast metal toe and they have got a little kitten heel as well I am yet to wear these out of the house You can see they've also got the hanging tee there for Tory Burch And then I've got a pair that are quite similar from Dune as well These were great during fashion week because I just needed something neutral I was wearing a few outfits that were quite hard to accessorize But these are the kind of things that just again were very flattering but just super duper easy to style Next I have a couple of really special shoes from Ted Baker They just have the most gorgeous shoe designs this this pair I think look very Manolo-esque. I just adore this big brooch detail. And then they have got a rose gold heel. I very rarely wear these, but they are just so beautiful to look at. Equally, this pair with the spectacular bow on the back, I just think they're absolutely stunning. I don't wear them very often. I think that stilettos just are quite impractical. They get stuck in the grass and things like that. But they've just got such lovely details, like you've got this a bit of fabric in here and a very wearable light pink shade these will always remind me of this really lovely photo shoot that i did with ted baker um, at the end of last year most of my shoes are in the kind of middle level where they're not super casual like i don't have that many trainers and things like that but then i also don't have too many really dressy shoes i would say 80 percent of my shoes are in that 
elevated everyday kind of level if you know what I mean but when it comes to my luxury shoes that I wear for special events obviously those Ted Baker ones um, but my most frequently worn are of course my Jimmy shoes these are just absolutely gorgeous the neutral color of course makes them so wearable I love the diamante detail around the foot as well and yes they are pointed toe mules so naturally a style that I just get so much wear out of if you did want a very similar style of shoe but for a fraction of the price this pair from Dune are very similar so they have got this gorgeous detail again this diamante detail which crosses over the foot and pointed toe in a very very similar neutral color I love these and I think that if we do have any weddings oh my god our wedding's gonna happen this summer then I'll be wearing these probably the most special pair of shoes in my collection is this pair from Valentino they are the rock stud sandals I'm sorry about the lighting these were my very first expensive designer pair of shoes that I bought for myself and I bought these for my graduation when I graduated the London College of Fashion Fashion. shoes are definitely the best thing to treat yourself to upon graduation because they're the only thing you can see under your gown and then I have to say I didn't wear them for a couple of years because they were just too special then I decided you know what I need to get wear out of these and then from that moment on when I decided I wasn't gonna save them for best anymore I wore them all the time for every event that I went to from going to a uh, dinner with friends to weddings to even like special family lunches and things like that they got totally battered they have got scuffs on the heels very well worn at the bottom and then because I love them so much I also got them in metallic as I mentioned earlier metallics are such a great neutral really do go with everything and I would say for a good year and a half before I got the Jimmy Choo's or maybe even two or three years actually, these were the ones that I wore to just every single event. I also think this style of shoe goes beautifully with jeans or white trousers. They really are the most versatile pair of shoes in the entire world. If you are looking to invest in a pair of designer shoes, I could not recommend the Valentino Rock Studs any higher. Then we have a couple of premium high street smart occasion shoes. This lovely pair from LK Bennett is just so versatile. I love a chunky block heel. I love anything in this pink shade because obviously it goes in most of my wardrobe and this sandal style with the ankle strap is very secure on my feet. So I've been wearing those a lot lately and then a closed toe pointed toe version from Reese. I really like the shape of the toe on these. And again, this little strap on the ankle. And you've also got a little bit of extra detailing here. Really lovely occasion wear shoes. A pair that I don't wear quite as often because they do fall off my foot. I definitely prefer shoes with ankle straps, but these are my Jean Vito Rossi's. I know so many girls that are obsessed with this brand. I love the color that I have, this beautiful rose gold um, tip on the heel. And then this blush pink on the edges. I got these when that clear kind of perspex material was at the peak of its trend and they look so elegant they are absolutely beautiful so flattering so leg elongating um just not the most comfortable for my foot shape <laughs> i 100 percent know that there are a lot of summer shoes that aren't here like lots of little flats and flip-flops and things like that that i wear on holidays so i'm sorry I, I do appear to have missed out a big chunk of my shoes but a few more pairs until we move on to winter shoes yes so this is only half of the collection this pair from river island which instantly when i saw them i thought yes they are fantastic look alike of the valentino rockstead sandals i wear these a lot on holiday they are very very comfortable and very expensive looking as well. I wanted a pair of dainty shoes that I could wear during the summer to autumn transition and this pair from Topshop were absolutely perfect. I love the very feminine design of these but then the brown suede just gives them more of an autumn vibe and the shape of the heel is very cool as well. It's like a rounded block heel. And the one pair of summer sandals that seems to have escaped the loft is this pair from Topshop. They are very very easy to wear indeed, very comfortable. Sorry they're a little bit <laughs> mucky but again it's because they're metallic they look great against hand skin and the straps ensure that my foot is kept in place all the time. Darlings, I'm going to go and make myself a coffee, <laughs> have a little bit of a break and then we are going to be back for part two which is the winter mostly boot collection. Okay I'm back with a different background, I've shuffled myself around the room so I can get to my winter shoes. Let's start with the 
shorter boots I'm going to call them. So these are probably my favourites. These are from Sorrel and I got these um, on the Black Friday sale actually on Shop Bop which is an American, I think it's an American retailer. Got these sent to my friend who lives in New York and then when Freddie and I went to New York in December I picked them up from his apartment so it was a bit of a mission to get these but it was worth it. I absolutely love them. Light pink with this shearling behind the laces and I just think they're gorgeous, so comfortable for walking and they've also got like a rose gold colour leather down at the back there. Before I actually saw those I got something fairly similar from River Island. These are again like a grey pink suede, they don't have the faux fur here but if you wanted to DIY you probably could do that and make them look very similar. They've got a white sole which is not the most practical they do get a little bit muddy um, and I always find that the tread of this kind of shoe really does attract mud but that's what we get them for. This is a pair of Chloe boots. I think I got these either in the net Porter sale or on the out net. I know I didn't pay full price for them. They've also got a very chunky sole which makes them very comfortable but then a heel as well. I don't wear them that often um, but they are quite a timeless design so I think I will keep these in my collection. I'm not planning on getting rid of too many pairs of shoes to be honest. I don't tend to keep a hold of shoes that I don't wear a lot, she says, looking around at a room filled with more shoes than a girl could ever wear. But then actually I've got this pair of shoes from River Island which I haven't actually worn so I might move these on. They've got almost like a Gucci style stripe to them and then a really lovely cozy looking lining. Just realised behind me here are slightly less like intense walking style boots. We've got a lot of my boots um, that are like this. So this is a pair from Topshop in this gorgeous minky kind of colour I would call it. Like a brownie grey shade with a stiletto heel. Perfect in autumn winter. Fairly similar style but in cream. These are slightly more, I would say, kind of cowboy-ish with the pointy toe and then again you've got a little chunky heel here, a zip at the back and another neutral shade. This I would have to say is one of my most infamous pairs of shoes, my Reese boots. These just, I absolutely love wearing these, they are so comfortable and another pair of shoes that really elevates an outfit so I just love wearing these and I get so much use out of them. I'd say they're more appropriate for autumn and winter so I might put them to the back of my wardrobe for a little while but um, as soon as these are seasonal again I can guarantee they'll get a lot more use. My Chloe Susanna boots, I refer to these quite a lot but I actually don't wear them as frequently as I should. I've got them in the lighter shade um, with the gold detailing. Again, I think this is just a classic pair of shoes with worn with a white summer dress, very bohemian, and also with the low heel there. Very comfortable to wear all day long as well. I think if I ever had the opportunity to go to Coachella, I would definitely take these with me. Another pair of boots that got a lot of use this winter because I do love my lighter coloured outfits is this pair. They are from Reese. They have an almond shaped toe and a slightly chunky heel. As you can see again it's a little bit muddy and then they've got a really lovely soft leather which is slightly stretchy so these fit really beautifully and a similar but more affordable pair these were from Zara these are actually kind of croc print I'm not sure if you can see that very well but that kind of croc effect leather and pointed toe so a little bit different to the Reese ones I love this pair of boots you've probably never seen these before because they are most definitely my practical boots for dog walks and those times when I just need to be comfortable they are from Russell and Bromley they've got like a pink shearling on the inside which I think is so lovely but also so comfortable and they really are great walking shoes again with a very sturdy sole to them another pair here from Chloe, this is a really classic pair of brown um, ankle boots. I was, are they Chloe? Yeah. I wasn't afraid to invest a little bit in these because I wanted something that was top quality and really timeless. And these I think I've had in my wardrobe for about four years and they are just such classics that I've got really good price per wear out of these. So my knee high boots were a real obsession this year. I've got a couple of pairs Yes, these are from Dune. They are a lighter snake print. But then I've also got a darker snake print which are from River Island. I definitely get more use out of the lighter pair just because it's more in tune with my usual colour palette. This pair of boots I got so much wear out of this winter. I know lots of you also bought these as well. They are the cream River Island boots with the chain detail in the heel here almond shaped toe and they come up to just below the knee. Because they're high street I'm not too precious about them whereas 
I saved this pair from Reese for slightly smarter occasions. They have got a stiletto heel, slightly more pointed toe, um, and they come to literally on the knee. So for a smarter day of meetings, I might wear these, whereas if I'm gonna be shopping and marching around town all day, I'd wear these, and both pairs are seriously comfortable. Oh my goodness, over knee boots, over knee boots, where do I start? I have so many. Let's start with my first ever pair of over knee boots, and these were my first year at Weitzman's. I invested in these when I was a student at London College of Fashion, so we're talking like seven years ago now. I definitely paid less for them then than what they cost now, but absolute classics, again, price per wear, and I don't save these for best. I really do get a lot of wear out of them. They are, to this day, my only black boots because I think back then I presumed that everyone should have black boots, whereas now I know my style a little bit better. I know that I actually get more use out of the lighter shades, but these have got the elastic back so they fit you perfectly and then suede on the front. Once again, definitely you want to be using your liquid proof as soon as you buy these and every time you wear them out the house because then they will remain in really good condition like mine. Um, they've got a couple of little scuffs on them, but nothing that can't be brushed out. And I'm really happy with the condition that these are in. even almost a decade later. The next pair of over knee boots that I got I think was these. These are from Karen Millen. I think I used a press discount on these. They've got a low chunky block heel and a round almond toe. As you can see from the light, they're almost quite um, absorbent. They really do tend to pick up the color of the outfit that you're wearing. So if you're wearing pink, then they have a little bit of a pinky hue to them. I don't know if the suede is just brushed so it's almost pearlescent, but I just find them so flattering. I would say these are more on the knee than over knee, but this is a really lovely, quite bohemian style from C by Chloe, I think. Yeah, I think I got these in a Netta Porter January sale a few years ago. I don't wear them as much as I should, but I'm hoping to rearrange my storage so that I can see all my boots a bit better, because these, I have to say, were kind of hidden away at the back, but I think with a white bohemian dress, these are just gonna be absolutely gorgeous, or now that I've got that beautiful Zimmerman skirt with a statement blouse, oh my goodness, that would look gorgeous. Just below the knee, this is a pair from LK Bennett. They are quite um, a dark brown, almost like a rusty shade, not sure if you can really see the true colour too well. A low chunky block heel makes them great for a long day of walking around. One of my favourites and also one of my most affordable pairs of over knee boots, this pair from Zara. I wish they would bring this pair back again because I get so many questions about them. I don't love the wooden heel, um, but what I do love is the way that they fit and the colour of the just makes them so versatile. They really do work so well for my wardrobe. I actually have a video on my Overknee boot collection which I talk a lot more about these and how I style them and how to care for them. So I will leave that video linked on the screen here. It's quite an old one, but still a goodie. We have another pair from Stuart Weitzman here. I just absolutely adore Stuart Weitzman over knee boots and I think they are a really, really good investment. This is, as you can see, a, a beautiful light brown pair with a fairly high heel and an almond toe. Again, just an autumn winter wardrobe classic. They keep your legs nice and toasty as well. This is a pair that I've not even worn. Oh my goodness, they're brand new. Um, these are Tory Burch. I think I got them in last year's Black Friday sale. I didn't need them because they're very similar to the Karen Millen shoes, but I think this is an example of me being blown away by the discount. Very naughty. This is the same pair as the grey Karen Millens, but in brown. I worked with Karen Millen on a campaign before they went bankrupt, so sadly I never got paid for that campaign, um, but I got the boots as gifting for the campaign, which slightly softens the blow. Sadly, I can't pay my household bills in boots, but anyway, I do get a lot of use out of these. Um, I really like this warm brown. I think it's a very flattering colour. And then because I wear the Zara ones so much, when I went to the Simon um, shopping premium outlet in Palm Springs back in September, I saw the Stuart Weitzman version of the Zara ones that I have, very similar indeed, and I couldn't resist them. These were a really, really good price. I wore them out and about in LA, but um, um, I'm yet to wear them in the UK, so I'm excited to get more wear out of these once the seasons change, although not wishing summer away by any stretch. The High Street also does really good over knee boots. This is a pair from River Island, again in the grey shade. They've got a slightly more patent heel and a bit of a, an unusual, I would say that's like an almond heel. Really lovely and soft on the inside and because they're quite structured, they don't roll down the leg, which is a great sign of a High Street um, 
of knee boots. This again is one of my most worn pairs. It is from, I think these are LK Bennett. They're this lovely light lilac-y grey shade, very versatile and very, very comfortable. My snow boots, these are from Sorrel and they've got a very practical sole, great for trudging through snow. Again, I do spray these with my liquid proof to protect them. I have a grand total of four pairs of trainers. My most worn is this pair here. They are Stella McCartney for Adidas. I think they are anyway, or maybe they're just normal Adidas. I love that they are the sock style, so you just slip them on. I wear these to everything from nipping to the gym, to actual workouts, to walking the dogs, and things like that. And I just pop them in the washing machine when they get dirty. I don't wear these for workouts, but they are technically trainers. They are sparkly and again, great for running errands, getting myself to a yoga class for example. Another pair that I work out in, again, can you tell I hate laces, these are from APL and I did get these, I think, either in the Farfetch or the net porter sale and they're pink and sparkly, so I love those. And then my most normal pair of trainers, these are from Nike, Nike, I think it is Nike, and they are lovely pink material with the swoosh. And then darlings, oh my goodness, we've made it to the end. My final two pairs of shoes, my absolute comfies, we have got this gorgeous shearling pair of moon boots. I do actually have a pink pair of moon boots up in the loft as well that I've just remembered that you will have seen if you watched my Majev video. It's one of my favorite videos ever. I would definitely recommend watching that if you are looking for some entertainment. Um, but I also have this shilling pair of moon boots, which again, I wear a lot around the house and nipping to yoga, nipping to the gym. That's when I often wear these. And then I have got these crazy Ugg boot slippers with the Mongolian fur on them. I don't wear these that often, but they were in my wardrobe, so I thought I would show them to you. Are you guys surprised that I own a pair of Ugg boots? <laughs> yeah, I probably should wear these more because they are seriously comfortable. <sighs> oh my God, darlings, I can't believe we did it. I actually thought this would take me all day. I hope I've not been speaking 10 million miles an hour. Hopefully it's been um, understandable. Finishing just in time as the sun decides to pour into this room. Darlings, let me know in the comments below which is your favorite pair of shoes from my collection. If you've got any of these shoes, if I've inspired any of your shoe purchases, and let me know what your most worn pair of shoes is as well. I'd love to know. Darlings, as I said, I'll try to link as many as possible in the description box down below, so just open that up for more, and for any other collection ideas that you'd like to see, please let me know. But for now, darlings, that's all from me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.